1. Xanthophobia. This is the fear of yellow and of all objects that have yellow colors in their shades. For example, daffodils, the sun, paint. The most aggressive form of xanthophobia manifests itself when the patient experiences a panicky feeling of fear just before the mention of the word, yellow. 2. Churophobia. Fear of any kind of cheese. One of the most striking examples of traumatic associations. As a rule, a person experienced stress, in the presence, of cheese, and since then any kind of it causes him to panic. There are turophobes who develop a panic attack at the sight or mention of a particular variety of this product. But it also happens when panic begins at the sight of cheese of any variety. 3. Somnophobia or fear of sleep. A sleep phobe is afraid to sleep, because sleep for him is tantamount to death. This type of fear also occurs in those who are afraid of losing control of themselves in a sleepy state or due to regular nightmares. There are also somnophobes who are afraid of the loss of time, in their opinion, occurring in a dream. 4. Fear of navels or omphalophobia. At the same time, omphalophobes cannot withstand touching their navels, during a medical examination or other manipulations. They are also afraid of other people's navels and their appearance. In this regard, patients avoid public places like swimming pools or beaches, where they can definitely meet people with exposed navels. Subscribe to the channel, support me as a storyteller, and watch other interesting videos on the channel. 5. Chlorophobia, or fear of circus clowns. Most often, it appears in children as a result of mass culture phenomena in the form of horror films about terrible clowns, comics, etc. There are famous artists who seriously suffer from chlorophobia, for example, Daniel Radcliffe and Johnny Depp. They explain their fear by saying that behind the mask hiding the clown's true face, it is impossible to understand his real intentions, which may turn out to be obviously bad. 6. Chylophobia. People experience an incomprehensible fear when they see a forest or trees. Like the fear of clowns, it often occurs in childhood when a child hears scary tales about evil trees or forest inhabitants. Hylophobes, with experience, are afraid to even enter a park where there are trees, not to mention a real forest. Even the thought of this can provoke a panic attack in a patient. 7. Ombrophobia, or fear of rain. The causes of this fear can be very difficult to find, especially if we are not talking about traumatic factors that could occur, in the presence, of rain. There are ombrophobics who are afraid of getting a terrible disease when they get caught in the rain, and there are people who are sure that they can simply disappear. 8. Poganophobia. Fear of a beard in any of its manifestations. It was first described at the end of the 19th century, and is sometimes found now. 9. The fear of any holes, trypophobia, is also an equally rare and sometimes painful type of phobia. After all, we meet different holes and holes all the time. Officially, this phobia has not yet been recognized, but it is already gaining momentum among people. Any hole in such a person is immediately associated with mortal danger. For example, it seems to a person that a dangerous monster can jump out of there, etc. Mostly trypophobes are afraid of a lot of small holes in different objects. These are honeycombs, spongy objects or some plants. 10. Agmenophobia. When you stand in line and are nervous that the next one is moving faster. In any case, a psychotherapist should deal with a phobia if the person himself cannot cope with it. Along with well-known fears, people also have phobias that, at first glance, seem absolutely ridiculous and even ridiculous. However, for the patient himself, this can be a severe psychomotional condition that cannot be ignored.